Welcome all. In this session, I am going to answer one of the Selenium interview questions. That is, what is the difference between a soft assertion and a hard assertion? Let me answer. Both the soft assertion and hard assertion belong to the same test engine, but there is a difference. Coming to the hard assertion, guys, when the hard assertions fail in our test automation code, the remaining steps in the automation code won't be executed. The execution will stop there itself. But coming to the soft assertions, guys, even though they fail, the execution will continue. That means the remaining steps in the automation code will continue to execute. So this is a major difference, guys, between the hard assertion and soft assertions. But let me practically show you this difference that I am explaining in this session. So here is some sample Selenium automation code, guys. What this, what does this particular automation code do is it will open this tutorialsninja.com and it will directly take you to the login page. Okay. After going to the login page, it will enter the credentials. This particular automation code will take you directly to this particular login page and then it will enter this email address and password. It will enter the email address and password and try to click on the login button. So this is what is this Selenium automation code is all about. But guys, for a difference, what we are doing is here after you open this application URL before this particular steps, what I'm doing is I'm adding a hard assertion, test ng hard assertion like this. Assert dot assert true. I'm, I'm just verifying the title of this page. The title of this page is account login, but I'm checking that with the XYZ. That means this will result in false. When this particular statement results in false, this statement will throw an error. This hard assertion will fail guys. What happens when a hard assertion of test ng fails? Here, the test execution will stop. Okay, the test execution will stop here. And the remaining steps, there are three more steps here, right? That is entering the email address into the email field, entering the password into the password field and clicking on this login button. This will not happen guys, because here hard assertion is there and it got failed. When a hard assertion fails in our Selenium automation code, the test execution will stop and the remaining steps will not be executed guys. Let me show you this practically. So let's run this code. When you run this code, you can see that the execution will stop in the login page. Okay, before entering that email address password and clicking on the login button, right? It will stop there. You see, the execution has stopped here. And if you go to this uh, Eclipse console, right? You can see this assertion failure. Okay, hard assertion has failed. Because of this failure, the test execution has stopped here in this particular step and the remaining steps, these three steps didn't get executed, guys. This is what is hard assertion. Let's convert this hard assertion now into the soft assertion. So for that, guys, uh, I will create an object for the soft assert. Okay, this is a predefined class of test ng. Soft assert, soft is equal to new soft assert. Like this, let's create an object for the soft assertion. For the mouse, import the soft assert. Okay, copy this soft and in place of this assert class of the test ng, provide this object that is soft. Soft is from the soft assert. So soft assert dot the same thing guys. Here also, this particular thing will return false. Hence, this particular soft assertion will also fail. This is not a soft assertion, guys. It's neither. It's not a hard assertion. Once you provide this object reference of this soft assert class, right? This has become a soft assertion. And this is going to fail, guys, because the title of the page is account login, but you are checking with the XYZ. Okay, it will fail. When this fails, guys, the test execution will not stop here. Okay, because this is a soft assertion the test execution will not stop here. Even though it is failing, the test execution will not stop and the remaining steps will be executed, guys. Because the test execution is not stopping here because of the soft assertion, the remaining steps in the automation code will be executed. And at the end, guys, for soft assertion, you have to add this line, soft dot assert all. Then only this particular assertion will be reported to the Eclipse, okay? Otherwise, you will not see any failure. So, fine. Anyhow, let me demonstrate this soft assertion where this, even though this assertion fails, soft assertion fails, the test execution will continue guys, unlike hard assertion. Run this code. Let me close this thing. Let's run this code. When you run this code, this time, even though the assertion fails, the soft assertion fails, the test execution will continue. See, you got logged in guys. Email got entered, password got entered. Okay, the script has even clicked on the login button and you are in the, you already got logged in. You see, you can see the logout. That means, even though this particular soft assertion has failed, 
the test execution has not stopped you see there is a assertion failure here but the test execution has continued so this is what is the difference between a hard assertion and a soft assertion hope guys you got the answer for this question so that's it guys thank you bye